Good morning. Uh, so it's been a couple of days, oh, a couple of days, a couple of weeks um, since I last recorded. Um, so I think I'll um, ease myself into um, back into Snippet Bixie development by um, checking the project's still okay and everything. I've done a few updates and things since then. Um, maybe update the dependencies, um, particularly on the front end of the, the GUI. Um, and then just kind of just get a feel for what's left to do um, because we're getting close um, to the end of uh, all this development for Snippet Pixie next. Um, and so I need to kind of have a recce, see what's left. Um, there's definitely a few little um, things I need to fix up, particularly on the accessibility side of things. Um, and then I know I've got to do some testing. Uh, probably another day though, um, things like Wayland support and things like that. So today is kind of a just a little, hopefully just a little uh, check of the project and uh, a few little updates here and there. Um, so what should we do first? Um, let's make sure the project is compiling first. Uh, so just doing here, I think. Um, so I'll do a make clean all, which should clean everything up. Um, and then I'll just do a make. It might take a little while. Hmm. I should double check um, what version of Wales I'm using as well, because I was mucking about with that at one point. So. It's definitely taking a while. Okay, while that's doing its thing, let's have a look. Shell. Oh, that's in the wrong place anyway. Oh, I was coming finishing anyway. We'll do it down here. So that is beta 42. That's okay. So it should be okay. Everything should be up to date on there then. Just whether I can um, maybe do some go tidy and stuff to do things and uh, maybe an NPM update as well. Right, so everything's everything compiled okay there. That's good. Um, so let's... So I should have done. Yeah, let's just check the status of the git. Uh, there we go. Okay, what happened there? Ah, uh, okay, yes. So I was doing some testing on here, so I need to bring all that back to how it was. Forgot about that. Okay. All right then. Um Actually, I just want to check something. Collapse that down. Hmm. Okay. That's okay then. It was just that. And the whale's overlay. Right, okay. That should be fine. That was when I was doing some testing of the next version. So uh, we will just roll back all these changes because we'll get to them when they're released. Okay, so we're on back on to Wells 42 for reals. 
That should be okay. All right. And there shouldn't be anything else to worry about, I think. I'm still using the new, new RGB. Okay. Right. Just a little refresh there to make sure it's all up to date. Let's do a git refresh as well, because I think it was okay, but let's make sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. All right, let's do that clean. Um, no, let's do a good ST. Yeah, that. Okay, everything's nice and clean now. All right, so we should be able to just do a make. A lot quicker this time. Although all the whale stuff has changed. Test. This might take a while as well because uh, the dependencies have changed, particularly in this one. In the GUI. But everything's looking okay. Not seeing any issues there. Okay, so let's give it a bash. Let's see, make, make sure everything's okay for reals. So bring up the CLI. And then I'll just go into the command side. Oops. And I'll just run the binary. There we go. So I should be able to just go in and click, and that works. Cancel that, and I should be able to just let's still let's make it findable. The best snip ever. Okay, and then I should be able to still find it there. That's good. Uh, go into it, click down, hit remove, it's gone. Clean that out to the bottom, to the top. Page down, page up, everything's working. Uh, settings. This is an area that I definitely need to fix up because um, it's just not accessible at all. Um, so once you come in here, I'm hitting tab and nothing's getting highlighted. And so I don't know what's going on. So there I, I'm there, but that's not showing that it's highlighted, but the focus search box was doing its thing. Um, so settings need a bit of a work in uh, for accessibility. Um, these might have to change. Although they are buttons here, so I should be able to highlight them and their labels as such. Um, so that I should be able to make them accessible in the future. Now let's jot that down actually as that. Uh, so that course in here. Well, technically that's done. I'll do that and then I'll have a specific one. 
don't even know if I'm going to do no. right so GUI um, like setting screen at the very least highlight Okay, just a little reminder to myself, probably not going to get to that today. So that's one thing added to the list. Um, oh, right back here, aren't I? Okay, I think we're good there. Uh, now let's test the um, search and paste window so you see it's got a slightly different format for starters everything's in last used order um, and we also have these quick access links so that um, so if i come off there i'm in here i can hear it number four um, and it will put that into the paste buffer so if I now um, do a shift control V here it's there bit of a mess there because I uh, didn't do a shift on the pay on the um, section but so if I do the same thing but come down and hold shift uh, and oh well the top one now let's do the same one there you go, always developing 2288. Yeah. The eighth today. Um, right, so that was working okay. Um, good, and obviously the daemon's been working fine. Um, let's have a look at the CLI. Right, um, we got okay. Keep forgetting that I uh, put the command things in, so I should be able to now do snippet pixie list and it gets everything in the really weird format that I need to change. Um, let's lock that. use some sort of format or fields um params uh, to add or remove um yeah Yeah, I need to think about that. Uh, what I is that what I actually want to happen with the list? So, but we'll add that. Um, yeah, that's why we're doing this little bit of testing today, just to make sure that I'm picking up on the last few things. Um, so. 
Let's have a look at the help again. Add, copy, expand, export, import, list, and remove. Okay. I think that's good. Um, things we do need to think about are whether whether the CLI is actually going to do these things here. I start and stop the daemon. Um, and whether we're going to allow it to create whatever's needed for an auto start um, and do some sort of settings updates, which is what this auto expand is, is for. And these are things that we've had in the past, um, but this new format with a CLI and a daemon and a GUI as separate binaries. I'm not sure whether I want to have control over auto start and things like that. When you can you can do that through any number of means in your OS and so on. So we'll see. I'll leave them in for the moment and we may get to them. Um, and we might have to do some more um, settings as well. But yeah. Okay, um, I think, I don't really think I need to be playing with them. Uh, let's do a quick ad. Uh, we'll do an ad. Um, actually, let's do help ad. Make sure that works. Good. And then what we'll do, oops. We'll do both versions. So we'll do ZZZ backtick. That's why I'm doing the quotes, because the backtick will cause all kinds of issues otherwise. And we will just have that. Okay. And now I should be able to do snippet pixie list. ZZ and it should match on that one. Yep. Now let's do it again. It should fail. Yep. Mm, better. Better messages. <laughs> That's another thing I need to do. I forgot about that. Okay. Who would we put this under? Ah, it's not CLI, is it? Hmm, good point actually. What happens? If I try and do the same. Oh yeah, you just can't. So if I do this here, it just won't it won't allow you to. So what I need to do is I need to basically do the same thing. Like that. So yeah, we'll get rid of that for a minute. Right, let's just make a note. It's definitely a CLI issue because the GUI protects you against all kinds of things. Um, No. Why did that not? Hmm. I haven't got it in my buffer. Okay. Um.
I didn't hit copy. All right. Right, so that's an idea there. Um, right, quick last thing here. We will do very quick um, minus B, add a Z here, minus A, and that works as well. When I do the list, I've got both. And now I should be able to do remove back tick wrong down. Two down. Cool. All right. Okay. Everything seems to be working okay. Um, so let's double check. I haven't done anything and get there. No. Good. Okay. I want to update some dependencies then. Um, first things first is the GUI because I am certain that the dependencies are way out of date on the NPM side. So front end package JSON. Um, I, uh, I already know that the Vite plugins felt has had updates. So I'm expecting that to update, but I also know that they are not compatible with v2 and they will require v3 however let's double check that and let's make sure that um i know <laughs> i know what i know um so i'm going to go into the front end on the command line let's um let's make this bigger here uh, so I should be able to do in here uh, npm up and I'll do a save. Although it's probably not going to save because it's going to fail with those dependencies. Yeah. Right. Oh, well, that's interesting. Front end. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I need to change that number in because I don't think I'm going to make it Snippet Pixie 2. I think I might keep it at 1.6. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, so this is the problem here. Um, Vite plugin felt um, wants to get to uh, version 1.01. But it can't because it's depending. It wants three, beat three, but uh, the we've currently got a beat pegged at two something. Um, so let's update that. Um, what's it just doing here? So we do beat three. And then we will. No, I don't want you. Oh, you can't see that, but that's behind me. It's asking for. Asking to add things and to update things, and I want to do it on the command line. So we'll do this again. Clear. One again. Hopefully, it will resolve everything now and update. There we go. So what's it done? Um, I guess here. Yeah. Now, I don't want to diff the package lock because that will be a whole bunch of stuff. Let's do git 
if package JSON. Okay. All right, so the portal, some things have updated. Um, and then of course the Vite plugin Svelte has gone to 1.91. Uh, Svelte is updated from 3.44 to 3.49. Uh, uh, spa root is updated as well and then of course beat and that's gone to 3.04 okay right with that we need to do some testing so um let's do make clean here in fact let's do a make clean all and get it to rebuild those things now that it's got them. So it should still be those things there. Yep, everything's still locked. And we'll just do a make. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Seems to have worked. Let's run it. Or should I do a test? Yeah, just to make sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's run it and see if there's any problems with the new version. Okay. And things looking okay there. Let's go into settings. Fine. Um, can we? Yep. Okay. Still, I mean, this stuff here. This is um, already known. This is um, debug information and stuff. Um, in beta forty two of Wales. Um, it's not in the next version. We already got rid of that. Um, so, and those errors as well are gone. Uh, Lee's made a bunch of updates and fixed a bunch of things in the Linux builds. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I think it's looking okay. That was good. Let's do... Um, Yeah, let's just do a quick search and paste because it does use a different path for some stuff. It definitely exercises some things. So let's go, we'll just do that one and shift enter. Oh, I let go of uh, the shift too early. <laughs> I'm going to like that. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. I only need to hold the ship because I'm doing CLI paste. Uh, all right, so that's fine. So, right, yeah, so we're... Uh... Oh, interesting. Okay. Got MD5 now. Cool. All right. Well, I think that's good. I'm going to stick that in Git before I do the next bit. All right. Okay. All right, next thing. Let's do All right, first of all before I do anything, I just want to check the shell there, make sure that's 
Okay. Yeah, it's definitely okay. There's nothing extra in there. That's just like um, the real thing. Okay. Um, let's try this then. I'm going to do a tidy and I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Just the GUI. Hmm. Okay. That's expanded a bunch of stuff that it doesn't need to. Yeah, okay. Now I bet if I go back in here and do a whale's dev, it'll clean that up. I was going to release <laughs> something I should have tested before actually is we're using Vite 3 now. Um, so it's doing a totally different mechanism for the front end URL and the dev URL. I should test that. I'm going to use the browser in a second. I just want to see whether Wales Dev updates those packages. Okay, that flash of white is purely because of um, the dev server. Um, with its expanded set. Okay, that's looking okay. Let's just um, go over here. Uh, no, that's interesting. What is the URL? I use in there then. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, it's the same. Right, I'm still using this URL to get a local version there. Oh, don't do that. There we go. There we go. Still connected. I should still have the tools working, hopefully. Yeah, there's all the data coming in. It's loading in there. If I go here, uh, let's just inspect that and then we can look at the data easier. Here's a snippet with all its data. Hopefully you can see that. I think my head's down here. <laughs> I haven't got a preview on IBS. So. Um, yeah, I think we're good. It's all working.
That was interesting. What was that? Everything's a bit slow in here because it's such a massive version of the thing and it's going through all the dev. When I cancel that, what did I get? Check in settings. Hmm. Yeah, no, that's a lot nicer here. Huh. So that's a bug in the actual UI. It's not picking up. The styling. Settings page style. Okay, just a little reminder. Things to do because that's a lot nicer than what we've had previously. Still no focus in here though, so that's something else I've got to fix. Okay, uh, it's working. It's slow in here because it is so big and there's lots of data in here now, and I haven't optimized it. Really, I should have. Um, Progressive loader, but it's not normally in this format. In the GUI, it's way quicker. Okay, looking okay. Now I'll kill that, and it goes. Right. And uh, yeah, so that's cleaned up, that goes all right, so that's fine. There's nothing there to worry about. Everything's okay. Let's just, uh, actually, I wonder, so if I do go to tidy here, does that cause the same problem? Yeah. That is weird. Well, it's dev cleans it up. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Back to my normal size. So we've got nothing left to do bar those actual fixes, I think. Let's just refresh this. Okay. I'll just push up those changes. And that should start a build. Two builds. One for NixOS and one for Ubuntu. And they should go off and do their thing. Okay. Well, I think that's all I really wanted to do today. Um, let's just make sure everything was up and running and ready for doing some proper dev. Uh, and I've got a couple of new tasks here. Um, most important is that, making sure the settings is accessible. Um, and then obviously the styling will probably come along with that while I'm doing it. Um, CLI, um, those two are just changing the format of the list items. It's a little bit of work there. Um, not too much though. And then error handling, that could be interesting. 
um, because mm, I can check see what I'm what I'm doing in the GUI to catch that and probably replicate it in the CLI in a way. Um, Because it is strange that I'm catching it on the GUI, but not in the CLI. I need to upgrade the CLI. It's been a long time since I've done anything um, substantial with the CLI side of things. And then once we've got these kind of little bits and bobs done, um, I may do an about screen. Um, and then I've got to just think about how I'm going to package it up. Oh, Wayland. Uh, let's stick in um, right uh, where is that work gonna be probably in the daemon actually um Yeah. Let's do well. I don't know if it's a fix yet because I haven't tested it in ages. Okay, let's um. Okay, let's do a task here. Just a little reminder. Last time. Used when the it was the expansion didn't work here. Yeah. Was it the expansion? Paste. Okay, I'll need to um, investigate that because I'm not using um, GNOME libraries for that kind of stuff anymore. I may have to do something different there. Oh, and of course there's the biggie. Um, I haven't done the auto expand stuff. myself I do need to come back and have a look at that um I've got a whole branch for that uh, which is probably way out of date now so but I might pick some stuff from it we'll see okay how are those builds doing let's just check before I finish up that's good okay Ubuntu's passed okay um Everything's really slow on my internet today. It's fine. Let's go to the bottom and see what happened. Yep, even created an artifact and everything as well. That's good. It's 
the tests. And they're all good. Let's go out. That's great. Good stuff. Okay. Um, I think I've done for the day. Uh, get on with uh, my day job. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for watching. Um, until next time. Take care. Bye.